Can you guys hear the train coming? I grew up right by the railroad tracks. <laughs> this is where this video ends. Welcome to my world. Something really cool that I've been working on lately is um, my family's genealogy. I bought, for Father's Day, I bought seven of the DNA um, Ancestry kits. And I gave them, I did one, I gave one to my husband, my dad, uh, Mark's parents, my grandpa. And it, we haven't got our results back yet, but it's been so much fun to go through and grow my family tree in one lineage I took back to uh, Switzerland one went to England a bunch came from Germany and it's just been really amazing to see um, all the different walks of life um, I didn't know so many generations back in my family were from Taylorsville tons of them were farmers some of them were butchers um, tons of kids and you know some of them had high education some of them were um, attorneys some of them had fourth grade educations it has been so neat and to see the different last names and oh it's just been so cool and I've been able to spend so much time uh, with my grandpa going through hey does this name ring a bell, ring a bell? And yeah they that was my great, great, great aunt. She went by this name actually. And ah, it's been so incredible. The death certificates have been neat. The um, scene just like, I don't know, people born in the 1800s and actually even like lived 80 something years and died in the 1800s and seeing pictures of these people and seeing the family resemblances. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that looks so much like my cousin. Or look at this guy's jawline that's where that came from um and just gosh dang it it's been freaking awesome awesome So I just got to my grandparents' house in Taylorsville. They actually grew up a few doors down from my parents' house. And so, and my parents have lived there for 37 years, 37 years. And so my grandparents have lived here since my aunts and uncles and mom was uh, young. But I just got here because my grandpa and I are gonna go add um, some more family members into our genealogy tree. Uh, one of my great uncles, he had done some research in um, Brown County, Indiana, and so he brought over a folder of what he had. I was at a dead end on one of the legs because um, someone was born illegitimate <laughs> back in the days. It was like a, it was a great, three greats, I think, and so he was able to find the biological father, and so I'm going to add that information in, and the cool thing about Ancestry.com, which is this, uh, the company that I'm using to do all this work, is once you get in someone's name and some dates, it then gives you hints, and it's like, is it these people? And it pulls census reports from back in the day. Um, a lot of the cemeteries now have uh, information logged and pictures of the tombstones and other people that have done the work on genealogy and family trees before they're like is this the same person and it's like yes and so then it gives you clues from their tree and it's been freaking it's just, ah, it's so cool it is absolutely it's just awesome it's just awesome one thing that's really blown my mind is how many of my relatives are actually from the same stomping ground that I grew up on I was born I was raised my cousins, my aunts, my uncles, my grandparents, my parents, uh, my brother, they still, they still live here. And so I visited some of the cemeteries where my great, 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 great um, grandparents and aunts and uncles were buried. And it's crazy because I passed those cemeteries multiple, multiple times growing up. 
And so today I stopped by some of them because I came to a dead end on several of the different lineages or the legs or the limbs. I don't even know. I'm so new to all this. Um, but I love it. Like I'm, I'm not obsessed, but like I am totally just, just digging it. And so I came to a couple dead ends and I was like, man, what do I, what do I do to find dates or am I misspelling stuff? Because so much of the U.S. Census uh, reports and war registration cards, marriage certificates, death certificates. Oh, we got a large farm equipment coming. A tractor. Welcome to Taylorsville, Indiana. <laughs> okay. I knew that um, some of their grandchildren were buried. Well, I didn't know at the time, but I found out online that some of their great grandchildren were buried close to where I was raised. And, and by close, I mean a mile off the road that I had no idea. So I was able to find some young children, newborns, one-year-olds that were buried up there that I didn't have record of. So I, I took pictures of their names and their birth dates and death dates. And I was able to actually enter those into the genealogy program and it immediately gave me other clues to, hey, do you know these people? Or do these people, are these people related? Or does this have anything to do with this person? And so it was going to the cemetery, changing the way I was spelling the name. I had no idea, like, you would, like you'd see these cursive, beautiful cursive handwriting and you think it would be an I, but it was really an E or, you know. And so I was able to fix the, the spelling of some first names and some last names. Um, I got some very specific dates. Like they would have years, but they wouldn't have the uh, month and date. So I was able to get that information from the headstones and put that into the genealogy um, website. And it immediately gave me more clues. And so I, I started making a little bit more progress. I've taken uh, several legs back to, um, well, I shouldn't say several, a lot of legs back to Germany, which I knew. Um, Sweden, Ireland, England, um, some Native Americans, which is really, really interesting. Uh, I'm trying to think of some of those last, Van, Van Clive, I don't even know. Um, it's, <laughs> it's been so much fun, you guys. If it's something that kind of interests you, do it now. Do it now Why people can help you remember and say, yeah, that sounds right. And oh yes, that family was from Southern Indiana or they were from New Jersey or they came here. So you have some clues, but if, if genealogy is anything, if you have an inkling or any kind of aspiration to find out more about your family, I recommend doing it now while people that are older than you, um, one can still remember, but two are still here to be able to help fill you in on the clues um, and pieces to the puzzle. So maybe you were adopted. Maybe you don't even know you were adopted. That's something else that's crazy. Like, I mean, people didn't talk about children being born Ill illegitimate uh, or out of wedlock. Um, I actually read a, hand, a handwritten note from my great grandmother that said, we believe that this guy's father was Alex Watson and I don't know why anyone would ever, <laughs> this is like quotes, I don't know why anyone would ever discuss this or talk about it or even want to know it. Um, I know these facts, my grandmother knows these facts, and someone else knows these facts. So just in case, maybe someone wants to do some research down the road, this is why I'm writing it. Um, but, sh but my great grandmother was genuinely like, why would anyone ever care? Like this is not something that should be discussed. It's not a big deal, like hush, hush, secret, secret. And so my point is, maybe you were adopted. Maybe you don't even know that you were adopted. Oh, I hate to be a bearer of bad news, but there's some of you out there. And um, I, I just really encourage you to, to check it out, to start digging into it, write notes, take notes, um, ask your grandparents or your great grandparents or your great aunts and uncles Maybe just your parents, who their grandparents were. Do they remember their great grandparents? So you have that information because they're not going to be around forever to be able to ask. And, to, um, and maybe it's not for you. Maybe it's for your great grandchildren. My grandmother wrote that note, not knowing that I was going to be the one reading it, wanting to know who these people really were. So um, just do it. 
Just do it. And listen, I'm Liz Medley, and I believe in you.